Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create an animated countdown timer in Canva and I'm going to show you two different versions, a free version of the animation so anyone with a Canva account can create this and also I'm going to show you this second version in which we are going to use an animation that is available only for Canva Pro users. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Here I am in canva.com and to start with I'm going to create a new document using this button that says custom size. So I'm going to enter my width and the height, create new design and here Canva is taking me to the Canva editor. Here we're going to start by creating the layout of our animation. So let's add a text box for the title in which I'm going to write save ends in. Let's position this box around here. Now I want to create some sections or some little boxes in which we're going to insert the numbers. So to do this, let's go to elements, select the shape that you want to use. I'm going to go for a rounded square and I'm going to create four different sections here. So one for the days, one for the hours, the minutes and the seconds. Position, tidy up so we have exactly the same space in between each block. Now let's add the text boxes so we can type in here days, hours, minutes and seconds. Now we need to insert the numbers that are going to go inside these text boxes. And finally, another text box to add some more information. Okay, let's adjust the size because I want this text box to be the most important in our design. And then let's adjust the placement of the elements. Okay, now I want to give this layout a different style. So to do this, I'm gonna use this section in which we have styles. And then let's go first to the fonts section and select a font combination that you like. I'm gonna use this one and with just one click we have this font combination on our design. I think I'm happy with this font combination and now let's go to colors in case that you don't have already a color palette for your project. So let's see what do we have in here. Let's try this one. I think I like this but let me try different options. I'm just clicking again and again on this color palette until I see something that I like. I think I actually like this version here. I'm just going to change the color of these text boxes to white and then I'm going to use a pattern in the background to add something interesting to the design. So let's go to elements, let's close this search and let's type pattern. Let's see if we find something interesting here. You can use any of these options over here. So let me try this one. Why not? You can use any free option in Canva if you want this animation to be completely free. I used this one and let me see what else do we have here. I can add maybe a white color and Let's reduce the transparency just a tiny bit. Once we have the layout ready, we are going to start creating the animation. So we're going to use this toolbar on top. You should see the animate section or the animate button and the edit timing. If you don't see the edit timing, you can go to animate, select any of the animations and then by default this timer or this edit timing, it's going to appear. So in my case, I'm going to remove the animation and I'm going to change the timing to one second. 
and I'm using or selecting one second because I want the seconds to change every time. So, okay, we have this ready and now we are going to duplicate the page. So do change the duration of your first page before duplicating because that's gonna save you a lot of time. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate my page. You see here below on the thumbnails, I see page one and page two. Now I'm situated in page number two and I'm gonna change the seconds from three to two, okay? And then as you see, page number two already has the timing set to one. Okay, I'm gonna add another page and keep changing here my seconds. Add another page. And I'm gonna continue doing this. Now, because we have reached the zero seconds, let's change these to zero, zero. 59 and continue creating more pages until you are happy with the animation that you are creating. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here and I would like to preview my animation, but at the moment I don't see the preview button. So I'm gonna do a little trick here so I can see that button appearing. So I'm gonna add a new page, then I'm gonna search for the video category. I don't have it here, so let's go to more, go to videos, and then just add a video to the last page of your design. Once you add a video, you see that this button appears and this is the preview button. And now that we have our preview button here, we can see how our animation is looking. So let's go to page number one and hit this button. And as you can see, the animation is already working. At some point you will see the video from the last page appearing. So you can stop in there, but I just wanted to show you how the animation is looking. If you want to stop here because you have a Canva free account, you can do it. Just delete the last page, go to download, select either MP4 video or GIF, it depends on how you're going to use this animation. Select all pages, hit done and then download. Now I'm going to show you how to create this second version of the animation in which we are going to add an animation that is available only for Canva Pro users. But before, if you like this kind of tutorials and you would like to learn how to create this and this kind of animations, I'm gonna leave you guys the links to those tutorials up here if you want to watch them after finishing this video right here. And also if you want to try out Canva Pro for free, I'm gonna leave you guys a link in the description of this video. Here we are back to our Canva editor and now I'm gonna show you how to create the second version, the one that has the numbers animated. So in this case, let's delete these pages and let's start with just the layout. So we have everything the same, we have the layout, we have the same timing, and now we're going to do something slightly different. So let's duplicate the page. We are now on page number two. We're going to change the number to two. We are going to select this text box, go to animate and select the animation that says pop. Once you have selected the animation, let's go back here and duplicate the page. And then you can continue doing the same process as we did for the first animation. Okay, I'm done here. I'm gonna stop on the page number seven and let's preview the animation. So as you can see, this animation is slightly more interesting and now let's download it and actually before we download this animation i realized that i have a typo so all course 50 percent off in this case i'm gonna show you a trick in case that this happens to you so i have already seven pages 
and I don't want to go to every single page and go inside the text boxes and add an S. So to fix this quickie, quickie? <laughs> So to fix this in less time, I'm gonna fix one text box, so all courses in just one page. Then I'm gonna select this text box, Control C, and then go to my previous page, select the text box, delete it, and Control V. Go back to the previous page and do exactly the same process until I have fixed the typo in every single page. Okay, so I have fixed my animation and now I'm gonna download it. Here we have the two different versions of the banner that we just created. So let me show you first the Canva free banner. And here we see the numbers changing. So that's pretty cool. And now I'm gonna show you the banner with the pro animation. So we have here the numbers jumping or popping and yeah i just want to know which one do you prefer which one do you think you are going to be using also if you would like to create your own animation your own banner you can share your creations with us in our facebook group i'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video if you are new to canva and you would like to learn how to use it and how to enjoy all the features that they have for us i'm gonna recommend you guys to watch this tutorial right here and if you feel that you are are more advanced you know how to use canva and would like to have a more challenging project you can create a canva website so i'm going to leave you this tutorial right here that i think you are going to enjoy a lot also if you guys want to try canva pro i'm going to leave you guys the link over here i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one bye